My name's Mars and I have so many feelings about this book. So the book I'm going to be talking about today is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Um, this was recommended to me by a friend. She seemed to really, really like it. So I picked it up recently and I read it. And I want to start by saying, if you can't handle someone's opinion on a book, please don't watch this video. Please don't watch anyone's opinion video. It's just an opinion. I, nor anyone else, is God. No matter what I say, doesn't determine pretty much anything. Your opinion can stay the same, my opinion can stay the same, anyone's opinion can stay the same. If you like the book a lot, you like the book a lot. If you hated the book a lot, you hated the book a lot. I'm not gonna change that. This is just me sharing my opinion with you. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. We can get into some educated discussions about them, not angry but calm, you know, mature conversations about this book. That's the reason I post these videos. I don't post them to be controversial. I post them to get my opinion out there. Um, so if you want to get angry at me, I suggest uh, leaving the video. In addition to that, I am not the best writer on the planet or the most educated reader on the planet. So anything I say isn't this big ginormous thing that you have to take to heart. It's just an opinion. Please remember that. Just an opinion. I don't mean to offend you. I don't mean to make you upset. This is not what this video is for. It has never been for that. So in regards to this book, I just want to right off the bat say that when I first started reading this book, I loved it. I thought it was going to be a five star read. I was so excited for this book because I started this book and it reminded me of why I like reading. It was so good. Like the beginning was incredible. It was fantastic. It drew me in. It made me interested in the things that it wanted to talk about. Like it was very well written in my opinion. I thought that the way that she portrayed a 13 year old boy was pretty accurate. Um, I've never been a 13 year old boy. However, I was friends with many of them. So like, I'm not gonna say I'm the most educated person on what a 13 year old boy is like. However, I have educated guesses, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it's okay for me to uh, say that. I mean, I also identify as gender fluid, so one could argue that I technically was a 13 year old boy at once and I just wasn't aware of it, but that's a completely different conversation that I don't care to have on a book review. <laughs> um, I enjoyed how interested Noah was in art. It made me interested in art. I actually, uh, thought of picking up a drawing class. I still am considering it, but again, different conversation. I thought that Noah's character was very strong, very easy to relate to, very emotional. I thoroughly enjoyed the things that he said and like the character that he was. I honestly, I, I fear saying this, but I honestly had no gripes with Noah as a character. I kind of really loved him. And I'm gonna be honest by saying that I might be a bit biased because he reminds me of my significant other. So I might actually be projecting. So I don't wanna talk too much about Noah right now. However, I really thoroughly enjoyed Noah, if that wasn't already clear. Now Jude, I have no problem with Jude as a character. As a character, Jude was fine. I think Jude was very necessary to the book. She brought this element to the book that needed to be there in order to explain both sides of the story. Um, I'd say Noah, Noah's point of view was very Noah focused for the most part, but Jude's point of view was very Noah and Jude focused, which I thought was, again, very important to the book and the book's progression and the book's plot points. Um, I like Jude as a character. I also think that at times she could be very relatable, but other times she felt very distant. And I just think that was because of her crush on Oscar. So I'm gonna get into that later. But just overall, I thought they were very solid characters and I liked them a lot. I am gonna get a bit spoilery from here on out. I don't think that I have anything left to say that won't be very spoilery, so if you don't want to get spoiled, I encourage you to click off the video. So the point where I started having problems with this book was Jude's romance with Oscar. Just to start off with the basics, I'm going to be honest, I don't like their age difference. 
I don't think a 19 year old really has any business with a 16 year old. And to be fair, he didn't know. He didn't know she was 16 for a good portion of the book. And I thought that was pretty fair. Um, I hoped that when he found out that they wouldn't end up together and I saw the book going in that direction. I thought that was what was going to happen until the very end when they did pretty much end up together. It was a bit, um, it wasn't black and white. They didn't say, yes, we're going to be going out. However, I think it was a bit implied that they would be together. So I don't think I appreciated it that much. I thought the book would have been better had they not gotten together. And this may be a bit controversial, but I think the book would have been better had they not ever introduced that romance to begin with. Okay, I'm sorry if the camera angle moved. I had to go get up and do something really fast. But, um, I... Okay, I thought that Jude and Oscar's romance took a lot away from the book. I think that there was a very strong plot going here in terms of dealing with grief and things of the like and a, f a sibling relationship going awry. I thought that was a solid plot line and I really think that their relationship took a lot away from that plot line um, because of the fact that like it didn't really have anything to do with them as siblings if that makes sense. Like Noah's romance very much ended up relating to who his, first of all, who his character was, and second of all, his relationship to his sister. So I think it was very important. However, I feel like Oscar and Jude's relationship took a lot away from her trying to mend the relationship with her and her brother. I feel like that would have been a stronger plot point is if like she meant it when she was trying to repair the rift in their relationship because she really seemed like she felt guilty over the things she had done just in general, to hurt her brother. Cause she did some, she admits in the beginning to some really shady things, to some mean-spirited things towards her brother. We later find out that her brother also had a few mean-spirited comments and actions towards her sister as, his, sorry, his sister as well. But in the very beginning, I would have enjoyed it better if she was trying to mend the guilt and fix the relationship. There's just a lot of things that was going on between her and her brother that I wish they focused on more. There's a point where, and this is, okay, I'm about to tell you right now, I'm about to talk about a very sensitive thing that happens in this book. So if you've read the book, you know what sensitive thing I'm talking about. But if you haven't, please proceed with caution. Again, I'm talking about something very sensitive that happened in this book. Um, so when Noah, essentially tries to throw himself off of a cliff um, and Oscar saves him. I thought it was really inappropriate that directly after that Oscar and Jude took this as a moment to flirt. Um, no one was acting like it was a big deal and essentially it got brushed off pretty much immediately after even though Noah admitted that he was trying to end up not alive. Like, he fully admitted that his intention was to jump off of a cliff and no one really cared about that and no one really paid attention to that and Noah, I mean sorry, Oscar and Jude flirted immediately after that and I just like immediately, like Noah was still recovering from having almost jumped and Oscar and Jude took this moment to flirt and I thought it was really inappropriate. It didn't sit well with me. I didn't like it. Um, I really it hurt a little bit. I felt hurt. I'm not going to lie. In addition to that, Oscar gives uh, Jude a seashell that represents his mother, and Oscar's mother has passed away. And I just don't find it very appropriate to give something that a relative who has passed away has given you or harbors meaning in relation to that family member. I just giving it away to a significant other has never made sense to me. I'm speaking from my own experience when I say that I find it completely unrealistic to give something part of someone who has passed away, especially someone so close to you, to someone who's a romantic partner. An item so meaningful doesn't have much business being in a romantic relationship, especially considering what it means to you as a person. I just thought it was a little bit, for lack of better words, it felt too like romancy. And like, I didn't 
when I picked up this book and I started reading this book, it didn't feel like a romance. It felt like a lesson, a very big one. I thought this was going to be such a monumental read for me. I thought it was going to teach me things. I thought it was going to bring me through a journey that I needed and it really just ended on the worst note possible. Speaking of the ending, um, I felt really robbed of not only a solid ending, but a solid ending for Noah. Like, they just really just skimmed over it. Essentially gave me a summary of the ending as opposed to a full thought out ending. And that kind of frustrated me a little bit considering like so many pages were in my opinion wasted on Jude and Oscar's romance when they could have gone to a solid ending for Jude and Noah. Because neither of them got a solid ending in my opinion. It was a very quick wrap up. Like, it was almost as if she was realizing that she was reaching her page count and was like, oh, better wrap it up. Like, you could have just deleted a lot of development between Oscar and Jude. Honestly, I know I'm uh, lingering on this a lot, but I really don't think Oscar and Jude's relationship was important to this book. I thought it was kind of a waste of time. I never enjoyed reading their romance. I thought it was artificial. I also, again, knowing their age difference was very uncomfortable. Again, what business does a 19 year old have with a 16 year old? Like I was 19 once, I was also 16 once. As a 19 year old, I would never have wanted to date a 16 year old. That's just, looking at it that way is just kind of uncomfortable. Like that's a sophomore in high school with a, he was a college freshman, but he should have been a sophomore. So that's just super discomforting to me. It was, I'm sorry, it just, I, okay, I'll let it go. I'll let it go for now, but I just didn't, I just wish this book was what it started out to be. I wish when I started reading this book, it was the same as when I ended this book. Because this, I, I'm just greatly disappointed by the ending of this book. The beginning was fantastic. I was so torn on how to rate this book because of how great the beginning was. Like it was such a solid beginning and then the ending was just so lacking and I felt sad. I was so sad about it. It hurt and I'm hurt by the ending of this book. I'm not gonna lie to you. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, I really, I just don't like editing. Editing is not my favorite thing in the entire world so I always procrastinate it and I do want to give out my opinions and I do want to talk about things and I'm sorry that I've been lacking. I hate outros!